The Mayor of Horo Whenua is calling for his council's chief executive to stand down and an investigation to be held into the way the organisation has been run. Michael Fayan says a leaked internal audit has been deliberately withheld and highlights serious risks at the council. RNZ obtained part of the audit and revealed it included concerns that emails from blacklisted addresses were intercepted and diverted to the council's chief executive, David Clapperton. Mr Fayan says a council meeting to discuss these concerns this evening has been cancelled due to six councillors falling sick. He told Patrick O'Mara that it's time the public knew what's been going on. I want the CE to stand down and pending a forensic investigation. And uh, But I can't actually order that myself without the support of councillors who from the very beginning have said they support the CE and not the new mayor. The majority of the council seems to be against your views. Um, I don't know if they're against all my views. Um, I would be saying over this matter, I, I'd be a little worried too for some. And that would be my opinion. And uh, But I think uh, that as a council, there are numerous things that have occurred that are very good. This is not a good thing, though, and this could have had an impact on uh, a whole lot of areas, like I said to you before, um, you know, on, on the decisions that we have made. Have we received all the information? Have we received all the information from people on the outside that want to write in and put their two cents worth? Because we represent those people. Would you consider this to be a dysfunctional council? Um, well, I guess you could argue that, but, I mean, I, I'd like to have more like many things we vote the same you see so no I don't think dysfunctional but I wonder why the loyalties lie the way they do uh, especially when you have information like this that literally none of them have taken the time to even read. You're asking for an independent audit but not one that's to be done by either Audit New Zealand or local government New Zealand why no, is that? I don't, I don't think they're up to it well because LGNZ have a subsidiary organisation called Equip. One of the directors of Equip is the former mayor. So, and anything that I've tried to talk to them about is definitely not helpful. And in your relation with the former mayor, this is Brendan Duffer you're talking about. Yeah, well... You don't have I'm, a good relationship I'm, with him. I've never had a chance with him. Uh, if you are calling for an independent inquiry, who should that be done by then? I think a private, a private company that's never dealt with this council before. Um, you know, I think um, I think that there would be, uh, and not chosen, uh, you know, I, I really need to know they're independent, that are not influenced by government. Because what's really at stake here is, is, is democracy and freedom of speech. And that has been hindered greatly with what we've discovered with the emails. And my contacts with various regulatory authorities uh, that sit under central government have definitely not been encouraging. And that's the Horofenua Mayor Michael Fayan.